Tim Kiefer, MIBTOnline.com. Hey, help us out. You know, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff so that way we can get more viewers here. We're on to part three of our Play of the Week. This, this week, at least, we're not running it, you know, for the whole week. We're just running a few parts, and this is the final part because we're going to talk about the two secondary blocks that happen downfield. And take a look at them because are they a hold or are they not a hold? So now we're going to move on to our next one. So if you're a line judge here, and now you see this release, okay, this is no longer an issue, all right? You're going to move on because you've decided that this, this contact now is not illegal. Or maybe you have decided it's illegal and you're throwing your flag. But we still have to continue to officiate. Now I'm hoping that our umpire is concentrating on this block right here because what else? That's the only point of, you know, that's the only engagement that's going on that has a potential to be a point of attack foul. So I'm hoping that our umpire is picking up on that because we know that our referee is going to be looking at backside and so is our head linesman. They're covering this backside action. So I'm hoping that's, that's where the referee is going. Or I'm sorry, I'm hoping that's where the umpire is going to catch this contact. Going back, one thing I just do want to point out real quick. I want you to watch, watch the quarterback and, and then watch the, the defensive end of the top of the screen. I want you to watch this player right here and, and focus in on him. If you're a referee, you need to be aware of this. Okay, now that guy just turns and runs, but sometimes they're taught, if, they're, if the quarterback is doing a fake, to take out the quarterback. Okay, this guy didn't, but you need to have eyes on that. Somebody has to have eyes on that in case that guy gets piled drive to the ground. We can't ball hawk. We can't watch the ball. We have other things to concentrate on. So that's something to be aware of. Don't, uh, obviously nothing happened here, but I wanted to point that out. So now we're going to move on to our next we're going to move on to our next potential block. It's right up here. So like I said, our line judge should be moving off of this because there's nothing going on. He doesn't have to watch a, a defender pursue a ball carrier. He sh hopefully is moving to this block. But also, hopefully we're getting help across the top from a back judge. Or if by chance we've got seven, hopefully our side judge, if, there's, if we've got a side judge or a field judge over there, Hopefully they're looking at this because that now is a second level block that has now become a point of attack block because the runner has gotten around it. So here it is, and you see it's kind of a chicken fight and then kind of a push into, and then he runs right by it. So watch it again in real time. You can see that, that the play, and then he kind of goes by it. There's, there's a, another potential block that hopefully, like I said, hopefully our line judge is, is moving on to this block because our back judge is going to have some other things to be watching because there's another block behind this up here, a second level block over there that somebody's got to keep an eye on as well. And that would fall to our back judge. Now it becomes a point of attack. It was kind of, and then now there is a flag from the side judge here on this, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. So now we have those two, those two other blocks that we need to judge and be able to rule on that engagement. So I'm going to start with Bill on this one. Bill, you see those secondary, that second level blocking becomes point of attack blocking. Mechanics are key here that somebody's looking at that, but probably not holds on these. Would you agree? I agree. Uh, we have the potential for grab there, but he ends up with keeping his hands open, gives the guy a shove, and um, he's, he's done with him. So... Uh, no, I do not have a foul for holding. So, Robert, your back judge, when you see these second-level blocks coming your way as a deep official, you're, you're having to change focus and then sometimes look at where, which block is the most important to, to rule on, and you know you've got, you're that second level of coverage. Yes, the primary focus is the, the blocks ahead of the runner, and uh, it's not jumping out at you as you've got to get it. So uh, when, you, when you pause and, and read it and, you're, and you process it, you keep officiating and moving on to the next block because it's not enough for you to uh, be throwing out your yellow flag. Well, that's it for the play of the week for this week. Finally, we're done. But we have the play of the week for next week, and we've already run in that poll. So if you haven't had a chance, go on Twitter, take the poll, go back to a couple days ago on the channel, and look at the play of the week. And it's a good one because... We're wondering if once the flag is on the ground, can you take it back? Can you call a timeout? 
So go let us know on Twitter what you think. And we even have a maybe this week, which is crazy. So you don't want to miss that. But we'll be back next Wednesday. Well, Thursday, because our Play of the Week's post on Thursday. So Thursday mornings, usually by 8 o'clock, you can look for the Play of the Week. We'll be back then. But we also have our weekly meeting. Just join MIBTonline.com, and you won't miss any of the great discussion. We had open phone lines last week. It was great. People called in. Hey, you could call in and tell us your opinions, because there's a lot of good stuff out there, a lot of good people who know a lot about football, and just maybe want to get, share their opinion on anything. So we hope you enjoyed it. I'm Tim Kiefer from MIBTonline.com. We'll catch you next time.